Hello friends, welcome to data making. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install uh, Spark distributed data processing framework on the Windows operating system. The prerequisite is we need to install, we need to have a um, Scala programming language installed on the machine. And the very important thing is uh, JDK has to be installed on your machine. And additionally, we are having uh, uh, SBT uh, tool also we are installing, which is a, a Scala a build tool or a simple build tool for uh, creating a, a Spark based uh, project or Scala based project. Okay. So, what we are going to do is I already installed uh, uh, even Python also should be installed on your machine. Uh, so, I installed already Python as well as the uh, um, Java on machine. Uh, if you are not uh, uh, installed on your machine, please follow the videos. I will add it in the description of this uh, uh, description section of this video, so you can go and refer it. Now let's get started by installing a, a Scala and a SBT. Then we will uh, install the Spark. So first, I'll open a, a Google.com and type uh, uh, Scala download. So it will launch you the Scala even language org website. Come down. I'm going to install the version of uh, Scala is uh, 2.13. Uh, I'm going to install this version of uh, Scala because this is supported in the recent version of Spark, which we are going to install. So just scroll down. Uh, either you can have an installer, you can install, you, you can use the installer. I'm going to install this. I'm going to get this uh, uh, compressed uh, uh, zip version of it. Okay, so I'm going to install. I'm going to use this, not the installer one, the compressed version. Dot zip file. Just click on this. So it installed the Scala uh, uh, compressed file. Okay, so once uh, you download that, then I'm also going to install download the SBT tool which is a simple build tool or Scala build tool. Uh, we will install the whatever the latest version we have. Again, so whether you can use a MSI based installer or the compressed version of it, uh, I'm going to download this one. So Scala programming, uh, Scala programming language, it is a Scala runtime we are in, uh, downloaded and SBT downloaded. So both you can take it from the um, download sections. Uh, just go to the download folder, copy this folder. What are I'm, I'm installing all this uh, softwares on this location. I created in uh, Windows uh, C colon. I created a folder called data making. Inside data making, I created a subfolder called software install. Inside that, I kept this. So I'll just extract. Right click. Uh, I'm using the uh, seven zip uh, uh, the comp uh, install uh, the sorry uh, utility to extract and uh, uh, compress your files. So I'm just using this say extract here. So if you have any other uh, uh, tool utility for uh, compressing and compressing file, you can use this as well. So you extract it here, SBT, and then I'm also extracting the Scala. Okay, this is also done. Okay, now we are going to set the Scala home in your system variable and also SBT home. These two are mandatory. I'll just so take this root folder till this, not till bin, till the Scala iPhone 2.13.8. Take this, go to the uh, uh, open your uh, so here uh, Windows File Explorer, right click on this PC and go to properties. Uh, advanced system settings click on the environment variable and the system variable side right here you just so you can directly uh, add it a path variable or you can just create one more variable saying that scala scala home have this and then we'll create 
system variable for sbt home also so take this till this root folder create one more variable called sbt home sbt underscore home just place this part so now we created the scala home uh, uh, folder and sbt okay now just say okay apply if you have option then click on okay then now what i am going to do is i'm just going to check whether uh, scala is it's referring the scala uh, uh, the runtime okay for that actually to to check scala uh, the mandatory thing is to work with the scala scala is basically using a jvm okay right so you have to install jdk without jdk uh, java, uh, java <coughs> the development uh, kit it cannot work scala cannot work so that's a very must thing you need to do now open a command prompt and then type scala iphone version uh, so it says it is not recognized or internal or external path so what i'm doing is close just uh, we are in the system uh, uh, variables right so advanced system setting go to environment variable just edit this path variable okay add here entry saying percentage scala underscore home you just uh, we are adding to the path variable that's it and then one more for sbt sbt underscore home okay these two are done now say okay 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 now again relaunch the command prompt check java is installed on your machine yes installed now check the scala still it says not available okay i will again go to the system variables one more thing also i can try that is okay i will just go directly to the path variable okay so here sorry here what we need to do is we have to say slash bin i missed it slash bin so because the ut the um, runtime is inside the bin folder so we have to say like this okay 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 now i think it should be good again command prompt say scala iphone version now you see the scala uh, code uh, the run uh, runner version is uh, which is the scala runtime version is 2.13.8 so this is how you know to install the scala uh, the runtime on your windows operating system now next step is to download the spark and then install the spark okay i'll just to close this and here i type spark download spark is a unified computing engine which is we can do the lot of uh, uh, big data processing other pro, other uh, application we can run on spark so i am going to download the latest version of it which is uh, on uh, uh, when uh, on recording of this video the latest version is spark 3.3.0 uh, which was released in june uh, 2022 uh, so it is pre built on uh, hadoop version 3.3 so i'll take this latest version and click on this uh, download spark link what are given and click on this link so it is going to download the 285 mb of data so it will be uh, slower or faster based on the internet bandwidth you have it so once it is downloaded take this i am going to put this also inside the my c colon in c colon i have a data making folder inside that software install i'll just paste it here uh, and then extract this uh, file so which is extension of dot uh, tgz right click 
uh, show more options using the seven zip utility extract here it is going to extract the tar file again one more time extract it seven zip extract here now it is extracted the spark 3.3.0 hyphen bin hyphen ado3 so i'm going to set this uh, uh, the i'm going to create the spark home in uh, spark home uh, system variable so that i can access the spark, spark utilities right or spark software framework whatever you call it again go to the uh, open your this pc right click on this pc and uh, click on properties okay i'll do it again okay right click on this pc go to properties and then advanced system settings environment variable click on new spark underscore home place this path till the root path okay i'll just click and then what i'm going to do is see we have a spark home here i'm going to edit this path variable add the spark home there okay so how we added the color similarly we'll add percentage spark underscore home percentage slash bin and also we have to add one more thing yes bin to there are multiple utilities uh, if you go to the spark folder right you have a bin i think bin should be fine i guess yes bin also is there to uh, to start few other utilities with spark provide we'll have we'll add both so spark home slash bin and yes bin we'll add both okay so these two entry i made it so i created a before i created a spark home environment variable i am editing the path variable and adding these two entries and then say okay click here okay and okay now you can relaunch i am closing this command prompt again cmd now i am going to launch the pyspark cli so a spark is the uh, distributed framework this distributed computing framework right uh, which is written in scala programming language but they expose they expose the api uh, in the in the different programming language like you can using a python you can access the spark api so for that they provide is called pyspark so you have a pyspark cli as well as command line interface you can access it and if you want to write a scala programs you can use a a uh, standalone program and execute it using a spark submit command we will discuss in the future videos and you can actually uh, try using the command line utility called spark hyphen shell for writing a scala uh, code snippets for uh, python using spark i am going to launch the pyspark uh, cli so to launch a pyspark cli it should have the python so that's the reason i previously installed python just go and refer that python installation uh, video i will add it in this description of this video so it is launched the pyspark session so i installed the spark version 3.3.0 uh, so there are multiple things here spark context spark session object and multiple things we will discuss in the future videos you can just say spark dot uh, spark context dot app name i guess so it just give the application name which is spark spark five spark shell is application name here so we will just discuss many things in the future videos um i hope this video is helpful thank you so much friends